When we look at a developing organism, let's take a fruit fly for example, when it's like early larval stage is in the, the process of development, so cell division is going to be happening, um, cell specialization, differentiation is going to be happening, and along the way we also have morphogenesis, which is taking shape of the body, like the body plan. And this is also called pattern formation or positional formation. So when we have like a developing organism, there inside you have cytoplasmic determinants and they're not homogeneous. So in this fruit fly, for example, you can see here there's a high concentration of cytoplasmic um, determinants and at the this side we have a low concentration of cytoplasmic determinants and with this this the concentration of these cytoplasmic determinants are actually what are going to act as transcription factors to turn on segmentation genes in the developing embryo so here you have um, different segments begin to show up. And as we have different segments begin to show up, we're going to have different axes become established. So on this side where we have a high concentration of cytoplasmic determinants, you're going to have uh, these cytoplasmic determinants are transcription factors which are then going to activate or turn on segmentation genes. Segmentation, segment, sorry, segmentation genes. And these segmentation genes um, are only turned on once we have the different axes established. So in this embryo here, you're gonna have an anterior region and a posterior region. So you have anterior and posterior, and you can see these are established by the different concentration of cytoplasmic determinants. Now there'll be other cytoplasmic determinants uh, not shown in my notes here that would establish the dorsal to ventral axes as well, and would basically essentially set up the um, body plan of this developing embryo. Now once we have the axes established, the anterior and the posterior, the dorsal and the ventral, then um, the cytoplasmic determinants will turn on segmentation genes. Now these segmentation genes are, turn on segmentation genes, sorry, after axes have been established, <laughs> have been established. Now these segmentation genes, now if you remember our DNA, here you're going to have like some DNA and if you have your cytoplasmic determinant that I have here, these little purple dots, will act as a transcription factor. And then it could turn on uh, the gene. So here's RNA polymerase. It'll move down. And now you have your mRNA. And then that'll code for another protein. Now in this situation here, this protein is going to act as a transcription factor that is a master regulator a master regulator that is a master regulator for homeotic genes so when we look at this in this organism there's a high concentration of cytoplasmic determinants in this area and a low concentration here that's going to establish the anterior to posterior axes. Now once we have the axes established, then these cytoplasmic determinants can begin to act as transcription factors. These transcription factors will turn on segmentation genes. Now these segmentation genes are what I have drawn right here. And so these segmentation genes, once they are turned on, will code for a protein. Now this protein is also gonna act as a transcription factor. Now the key here 
is that this transcription factor is going to act as a master regulator for homeotic genes. So segmentation genes code for master regulators of homeotic genes. Now, when we talk about homeotic genes, homeotic genes are responsible. Um, they're going to control basically like the development of anatomical structures. Anatomical structures, which include like limbs, antenna, wings, tails, etc. So when we look at the big picture here, once we know the axes, like the head and tail region, and once we turn on our seg we get our segments established, then once we know where the segments are going to be, that's when we can turn on homeotic genes. Now homeotic genes will then guide the development of wings in the proper place, legs in the proper place, arms in the proper place, antenna, making sure they come out of the head and not out of the butt region. And so here these homeotic genes are pretty much the final step in development uh, because now limbs can start to grow and you can start to see the body plan and the morphogenesis occur of the developing embryo.